this is the Provoke Prawn, and here I'm comparing the SteelSeries Aerox 3 2022 edition with the HyperX Pulsefire Haste Wireless. Now these are two interesting, comparable, honeycomb, lightweight wireless mice with a number of interesting features and reasonable specifications that make them worth comparing. And in this video I'm going to talk to you about the differences between the two and what they're like to use, as well as showing them side by side to compare how they look, how they feel, and how they sound, with a sound test at the end of the video you can check out. I'll also link to the reviews in the description where I go into a lot more depth on each of these. Now the Aerox 3 Wireless 2022 edition is an upgrade from the original that you can see here, which externally looks very similar, but has actually been improved in a number of different ways. And I'll go into more depth in that in the review, but they are very similar. But you can see that they also have the Ghost Edition, which is a white one, which looks really striking and quite different. Now, these mice are interesting because they're both wireless. The Steel Series offers both Bluetooth and 2.4 GHz, whereas the HyperX Pulsefire Haste just has 2.4 GHz connectivity. It does have some included grip tape in the box, as well as swappable extra feet as well. Now this is a very understated mouse with no RGB lighting really to speak of apart from around the mouse wheel. As I said it also doesn't have Bluetooth but what it does have is six programmable buttons as well as up to 100 hours of battery life over the 2.4 GHz. It has up to 16,000 dpi. It also has 450 IPS and 40 Gs acceleration. 450 IPS makes it a bit nippier than the Steel Series, which just has 400. It uses a TTC Golden Micro switches, which are guaranteed up to 80 million clicks. It also has, as you can see, a matte ABS finish, as well as that honeycomb design, which makes it really grippable. But if you want to make it even more grippable, you can use the included grip tape that's in the box. Now, the thing that I found interesting about this mouse is despite the fact that it's wireless, it also is lighter than the original Pulsefire Haste wired version. Despite including extra weight in theory for the battery and for the transmitter, they actually managed to make this mouse even lighter, which is pretty neat. So it's one of the lightest mice I've seen, but also interesting because it's lighter than its original wired variant. It's very understated and very stealthy and also a great pleasure to use. The original Pulsefire Haste was great fun. Now the Steel Series Aerox 3 2022 edition, seen here with the Ghost variant, but in a second back to the original, is also a nice mouse. I like, really like the original Aerox 3 and the Aerox 3 2022 edition is also very nice. You can see the way it fits in the hand and the overall design of it. It has a very slick PTFE feet and on the underside you have a button to switch between Bluetooth and wireless mode. SteelSeries claims out to 180 hours of battery life with this mouse, but that is over Bluetooth. You can get about 80 hours maximum over 2.4 gigahertz. Although honestly, I found myself plugging it in a bit more often. That's probably down to the RGB lighting, so it will vary for you potentially. It does have an IP54 rated water resistant and dust and dirt ingress to protect it over time though. And that's worth bearing in mind. Now, if you see the two mice side by side, they're very comparable in both the size and shape and overall fit of the mice in the hand. And that's the main reason that I'm comparing them. You can see the sort of angle of them, the shape and the overall design is very, very similar. They have a similar setup in terms of the button placement and the shape of them and the overall fit and design. And from various different angles, they look very similar. Obviously, the Aerox 3 has a lot more RGB lighting, if you're into that, and that's worth bearing in mind. It also has larger PTFE areas on the underside, but I don't think that really negates the quality of the Pulsefire Haste, which is still very slick on the desk, as you'll see in a minute when I'm doing the test on the mouse mat. Both of them have detachable USB-C cables, so you can quickly plug in when you need to and that also gives you some fast charging capabilities, at least with the Steel Series Aerox 3 mouse anyway. Now you can see both of them are fairly low profile. They sit quite low to the desk. They don't really push up that high into the palm and they have quite a low profile fit for them. I don't find them particularly large. I think if you've got really large hands, you won't find them overly comfortable, but they are still both usable. I've been using them mostly for FPS games and I found them very slick and easy to move around the desk 
and also very agile and very comfortable. As you can see, it's quite interesting when you compare them as well. I already said that the Aerox 3 is a lightweight mouse, and that obviously weighs in at 69 grams, but the Pulsifier Haste is actually a little bit lighter. You can see it here with 64 grams, and I actually forgot to take the dongle out first. So it is technically a bit lighter than that, and it's lighter than the original wired version as well. 62 grams is remarkably lightweight, and if you bear in mind the fact that it's got grip tape on it as well, if you take the grip tape off, it's a little bit lighter than that. I actually found the grip tape didn't even add that much extra weight, which is also surprising. The fact that it has grip tape included is a nice bonus, but I don't think it's really essential that you use this, because I found that that matte finish really makes it quite grippable anyway. This is obviously going to vary from person to person. You might find that you have particularly sweaty or oily fingers, for example, and therefore the mouse is a problem. However, I personally found I didn't end up with any issues on that. My fingers do get quite oily, so I don't find that it picked up those issues and then led to problems when gaming, so I don't think you will either. But it's certainly nice to have additional feet and additional tape if you do want to change it. Now this is a much more stealthy mouse than the Aerox 3 and that is a bonus potentially if you're not bothered about RGB lighting because obviously it maintains battery life for longer, it can go up to 100 hours potentially and I did think that I was plugging it in less than the Aerox 3 but that will vary depending on how much RGB lighting you're using and the settings that you're changing. Here you can see it alongside the wired version, you'll see they're very similar as well but I wanted to demonstrate what the mouse looks like with grip tape on and off so you can see the wired version against it basically very similar looking just makes a slight aesthetic change covers over some of the holes on the main switches for example the little dpi button behind the mouse is very very tiny and perhaps not as easy to press as the aerox 3 there are some very minor differences between the two mice overall and the aerox 3 is said to be suitable for palm or claw grip and you could probably say the same about the pulse fire haste based on the design i personally use a palm grip and that might be why i found them both a bit small however i do think if you use claw grip you probably won't have an issue and they're certainly not tiny don't get me wrong now what i want to do now is leave a comparison so you can hear what both mice are like on mouse mats and for the switch tests and hopefully this has been an interesting overview of what the two mice are like be sure to check out the links in the description to the reviews to find out more and subscribe if you haven't already this has been the provoke prawn thanks for watching
This has been The Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.